So I invite you to take a couple of deep and gentle breaths. Ah, and just allow the world out there to bump along without us for the next few moments of what we call time. The busyness, the doingness, and begin to experience with each deep and gentle breath the beingness that piece of us that receives the imprint of the divine from the moment, perhaps even before the moment we came upon this earth and this existence. Just kind of close your eyes and perhaps rub your feet along the floor and feel the experience of being closer to Mother Earth. <sighs> and remember with me that this is a season of love and light. The light that warms us. And it was written that thousands of years ago, it was a light that drew three people toward a destination they knew not of. But something inspired them to follow it. also so many versions and names for light. The incredible lightness of being. The lighting guide, the, the, the guiding light. The light that appears to pull at us, never pushing us, just pulling at us to lead us somewhere. So in the next few moments, I invite you to think about what is your light pulling you toward? Some ground of being that expresses and feeds your soul. What might that be? And how out of the mist of your mind it is beginning to take even more shape than it has in the past. And I'll 
keep track of the time and you just allow your light to guide you to somewhere. place and time. Rub your feet along the floor and allow to come into your mind. Who might show up or what teacher or teaching might show up in the next hours, days to enlighten and assist you along that path to whatever is pulling at your soul.
What a wonderful idea. We, I stand in community, which means we are not all the same, but we feel the same light. sanctuary. Just feel the energy that was waiting for us when we arrived and see it reflected in those who are around you. And if you're online, just look around, look out the window and look for the appearance of light, that incredible lightness of being that we all are. Hmm. Namaste.